Okay. So in the last episode, we got a quest starting out a murder mystery involving Akechi. Um, we have to figure out uh, who... So we have to figure out this murderer's history. Oda was murdered. He was cheating. Uh, he was the cheater with Noizumi. Wait, no, the, no, these are siblings, sorry. Usami, sorry. And they were, they were together, they were cheating. He caught them and he beat the crap out of this guy. And then this guy saw it. These two were here, so they should probably be able to confirm this guy's uh, alibi. I should talk to her. And I should also talk to the detective to see if there's anything he may have missed. Can I see? Oh, like, can you read more? Yeah, I can. Had a relationship. His cause of death was blood force trauma to the head. I did look at the uh, ashtray, and the ashtray looks like it cracked, so I don't think it's the actual weapon. He discovered the guy flee. He was not present, but we should. S so he might his alibi not help. But I feel like the girlfriend is super sus. Dislikes coffee. If I need help, I have to go do things. Hello, who are you? Oh. I didn't choose anything. Well, I didn't want anything. I wanna... Can I, like... You can't look around. Is there anyone here that is actually present within the murder mystery or something? Because we were just in Cafe Alps. Okay. How would I go about doing this? I want to interview everyone again. Because I, I feel something would be up. Who are you? Oh, this guy. Hey. What? Something wrong? No, it's just that, uh... Well, it's about that lottery ticket. But I took it to get the money. They told me it was a month ago. So it's an old ticket and I didn't win squat. They even confirmed it with the machine. But you know what? I actually feel a huge sense of relief. I was going a bit crazy. Good thing I found out before I quit my job. Money makes me sick. I mean, I was acting like, oh. Okay. Well, this guy lost a lot of time. I got some money, though. Nice! Alright. Some story enthusiast. I wish I could figure out how to... <laughs> find these people, but it's also possible they could be the question marks, so I should visit those. I'm so sorry about my hiccups. I feel like there are more question marks on the map than before. Oh, it's a fortune teller. Mm. The problem lies in your former life. The same is true of your father. He complains of pains in his legs, does he not? <laughs> yeah, he said something about it being hard to walk fortune teller. Uh -huh. Do you want me to read your fortune? If so, please get in line. Everyone must wait their turn after all. No, I... <gasps> wait! Your face! Its features are fascinating. Come here for a moment. How about I give you a special reading? Uh... Sure, I guess. Don't know. I don't trust the fortune tellers in any game, but still... Sorry, I'll have to stop here. I'll finish the rest of reading up after I read his fortune. What? Well, you better. Now, can I have your name? Just write it on this piece of paper. Kazuma Kiryu. Kiryu. <laughs> ah, this is the name of the hero. You have the wisdom and resources to be a great victor, but your name foretells attempts to his future. Oh. I can't read a man, read a man to like you just from your name. I need your physiognomy, Jasmine. Palm and palm readings. Maybe I should look into your past life too. 
I usually charge 150,000 yen, but for an interesting man like you, it's 120,000. Uh, sure? It feels like a scam, though. Something tells me. Here. Alright, now for your fortune. Let's see. Mm. Let, first, let's start with your palm. I see you now. You are a hero. But as a hero, you must never forget there are many people supporting you. I got it. I also see that you're being mm -hmm. fooled by someone you trust. What? But it's better to continue being fooled. You'll be happier that way. You must not let suspicion take your heart. Well then, come back whenever you feel lost. I'll shine the light on, light on the path to your future. That was unnecessary. Oh, okay. No. Um, excuse me, did you have your fortune read? That's right. I overheard some people near the arcade on Nakamichi Street complaining about getting cheated out of their money by that fortune teller. Is that so? I don't know all the details, but they said something about her charging a lot of money than just spouting off some generic babble. They're probably still there. Why don't you try going to an arcade? Well, this diverted from a murder mystery to people being swindled by... the person. Hopefully I can recognize the per the people for the Akechi mystery, because I really wanted to try that out, but fortunately not. These people, I assume, right? Oh. What's up with the fortune? There's no way it's right. It said my friend said it was too good to be true. What is this oh. about a fortune teller? It's outrageous. I should go give her a piece of my mind. She said that she'll give me a special reading and then trick me out of 150,000 yen. <laughs> I can't believe I paid 30,000 for that. Did you know what I did? What I could do with 30,000? I'm gonna get my money back. We must have gotten the same fortune teller. What? Did she get you too? We ought to really complain to her all together. I can't rest until I tell her what I think of it. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Alright. So go back to the fortune teller? She's probably gone. She knows that she played the long con not too long. So she probably left. Alright. <laughs> Alright, now what in the time? I'll put your wages in here and then I'll... Want you to do this back next time? <laughs> it's so easy. We just get money for lining up. Call me whenever you need help. I will. In fact, we might have a TV station filming out here next week. I'll definitely call all of you then. <laughs> okay, I make sh I'll make sure to say how good you are. Okay. Alright, what's going on here? <gasps> oh, it's you! What's with all these people? What's it to you? You seem pleased with my fortune, if I recall it correctly. I'm not asking you to give me my money back. I just want you to stop paying people to make it look like you have the satisfied customers. Do you have a problem with the way I do things? Keep talking like that. I'll introduce you to my charming sons. Oh, okay. You know you should. You know you should know that my boys aren't like peony whites like you normally deal <laughs> with. Oh, boys. Would you come here for a moment? This man wants to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, okay, that guy. What is it, Mom? Is this man accusing you of something? Yes, give this man a scolding. Would you like me to read your fortune now? Why, I will project a very unpleasant experience in your near future. That's a lot of suns that she's got. These guys are a little tough. Go of the R1 button if I wanted to switch targets. Because 
I'm now... I was trying to grab someone behind me when I was not facing behind me and I couldn't turn around because I kept holding the Arwood button. deserve by heat. <laughs> Looks like your fortune was wrong again. Oh, come on. This is how the world works. You make people... A little line of customers in front of your store and make you look popular. Soon people will start talking about it. Then you just wait for idiots to show up and you take their cash. That's pathetic. Mm. But as far as the fortune telling goes, I'm not a fraud. I used to be a famous fortune teller. I was right about you, wasn't I? I told you you were being fooled by someone. <laughs> that person was me! <laughs> Not funny, huh? Anyway, I lost my fare for fortune telling lately, which is why I've been running this little gig. But you made me realize this is a good time for me to retire. The world doesn't need fortune tellers who can't read fortunes. It's good you know when to stop. You based your business on deception, but your fortunes themselves weren't half bad. Uh -huh. Ah, a man who recognizes quality. The moment I saw your face, everything I just came together. I felt that own energy I used to feel. Mm. But I'm tired of all this. I'm going to live the rest of my days peacefully with my son. Please just forget I was ever here. Don't tell anyone you saw me. Got it. I could keep a secret. Can I smash that or no? Mm. Where's that fortune teller? I know I heard that voice. Mm. There you are. How'd it go? Did you find her? Actually... Uh, do they really need to know? I don't think they need to know. I couldn't find her. I don't think she's hanging around here anymore. Mm. Oh, I swear I heard her voice just now, though. Let's try over there. Give me... Oh. Hmm, maybe they didn't like that. Alright, I'm going to the next question mark and seeing... Uh, what is going on here? Oh, there's two of them in the ah. same area. Wait, what? What the heck happened? Oops, sorry about that. You okay? Yes. Huh? My wallet's gone. Hey, you stole it, didn't you? Huh? Don't go play dumb with me. I know you took my wallet. Empty your pockets. Uh, what? Why would I need to do that? Uh... I said empty your pockets. I didn't steal your wallet, lady. Open the pause menu and check your items. Oh. Never seen this wallet before. Anna? I knew it. That's my wallet, isn't it? Is it? Not sure why I have it, but I certainly didn't steal it from you. Maybe she planted it on me and then accused me. Why, how else would it have ended up in your pockets? Thief! Somebody help! Now hold on a second. Yeah. What's wrong, Mariko? This guy bothering you? Oh, Toru, thank goodness you're here. This guy stole my wallet. Oh, yeah? He looks like a thug, all right. But let's not start a riot in public. Why don't we go settle this over there, old man? Oh, great. Now then, hand over Mariko's wallet. Take it. Like I said, I didn't steal it. Looks like everything is still in order. I'm not missing any credit cards or cash. Okay, here's how you're gonna do this. You're obviously a crook. I'll bet the cops would give you hell if we called them. Pickpocketing's no small offense. Plus, you caught you red-handed, and we got witnesses to back us up. But seeing as you didn't want us to disturb the peace any more than we already have, I'm willing to let you off easy. Mariko got her wallet back, and that's what matters. No need to involve. Okay, why are you being complicated, though? Why are you saying that there's no need to involve the police and complicate things? But you're complicating this. I would have ha handed this back to her. No questions asked until you stepped in. You pay up, let's say, 100,000 if this never happened. You want me to pay you 100,000 yen? No. No. I'm not giving that much money for a wallet that I didn't steal. What? You, you're... <laughs> 
head too far up your ass to hear what I'm saying? If you don't like that view so much, maybe I should shove your head up so far I'd take a crowbar to pry it out. Or you could pay me. I'm not paying you, that's stupid. There we go. Oh, it's a little difficult of a battle. <laughs> what the hell? Now how about you admit you were trying to scam me? Yeah, alright, I'm sure you figured it out already. Mariko plants her wallet in somebody's bag or whatever and makes a big deal of getting robbed and then convinces them to settle things with a payment. If they don't pay up, we c come out to set them straight. A lot of people panic when they have find someone else's wallet. It's easy to make a pay a settlement when we're all worked up. How did you get away with away with the scam for so long? It worked out fine until you showed up. Let's just go, Taro. This trick isn't going to work anymore now that we've been caught. Maybe we can just find real jobs? I'm afraid that one day we're going to try to scam somebody dangerous as it doesn't fall for it. You should listen to her. Trying to pull this crap in like this in Kamurocho is a good way to get yourself killed. Quit now before you're bleeding it out in the alley. Don't lecture me over my own trade, old man. I don't care if you want to ruin your life, but it's not right to drag your girlfriend down with you. I'm giving you a lecture for her sake, not yours. Look at how scared she... Look at how scared she is. Can't you tell she doesn't want anything to do with these schemes anymore? Huh? Is this true, Mariko? It's just... The longer you keep this up, the more danger she'll be in. The money isn't worth her time. Maybe you're right. I guess I've got something to do. Let's get out of here, Mariko. Oh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, there's another question mark up here about something. And no nothing else here. I know. Excuse me, aren't you kidding, son? It's me, Kitagawa, the Mars fighter, remember? You helped me set you helped set me straight back in Sotomori about two years back? Kitagawa, Mars fighter? Oh, right. You really saved my bacon. I killed it the Grand P and r finally had a big in Tokyo. Glad to hear it. You're back in Kaburocho on personal business? Huh? No, I'm on the clock. We're shooting a drama right nearby. What, do I look like I'm a vacation, Kyuji-san? Well, I thought you always worked with a partner, but I don't see him around. Oh, you mean Mi Minamizawa? Yeah, things are exactly going smooth there. Something happened. Well, everything was great until we debuted as the Mars fighters about a year back, but six months after, Minamizawa showed up and, up and vanished. He didn't leave you a cl clue of any kind of where he was going. Not a one. Honestly, doing variety show gigs in Tokyo isn't exactly a glamorous life, so maybe he decided enough was enough? Me? I'll try to take on whatever work pays the bills, but you know how Minima Minamizawa was set on rocking to Monsai comedy. I remember, yeah. Since he left, I've been getting talk on the talk show appearances and TV dramas, but I'm worried about that guy. Whenever I get a break in between gigs, I pick up the search for him again. Just yesterday, I heard someone spotted him in Kromorocha, so here I am, but, well, no sign of him. I want to do the Mansai comedy with him again. 
But until I can, I gotta keep working for so our audience never forgets the Mars fighter fighters. I see. Look, Kirisan, if you spot Menazawa Manamizawa around town, you wanna give me a call? Take my number in one of his recent picks. Cool. Alright, I'll call you and see if I can find him. Thanks! Thank you so much! Kitagawa-san, it's almost time! Ah, oh, jeez, already? Alright, I got a shoot coming up, so I gotta run. Sorry to drag you into this, but please, keep an eye out for him. Well, I'll try, but there's no guarantee. So far, nothing still. Um, shoot. I don't have a clue on exactly where to start the Akechi murder, other than finding some guys around the map. But I don't know if I really want to take the time to... I should try to take the time to look around the map. But I probably can't do much. I notice with some of the past videos, I always, like, regret trying to not... Uh, not finishing something. And then I end up finishing something later. But sometimes I just can't, like, do it. Until... What the heck? Thank you for giving me... Oh, this is the Monsieur. We're dating. They're date or they're dating, so uh she'll treat me next time I get go back to the shop. He knew about the past too, so huh. Interesting. Alright, there's no one here, really. I've never tried playing darts, but I don't know if that's necessary. Unparalleled drink you're found in the bars of Kamarocho almost all nights of the week. I feel like if we have to talk to this guy, we have to make it night, unfortunately. We definitely can't talk to him because he's uh, in jail. No information on her. No information on him. None on him. None on him. Yeah. Probably can't progress unless we're on uh, night. We could progress the story a little, I suppose. Now you're probably asking why I don't do the fun stuff, like go to the arcade or whatever. Um, actually, I haven't seen any of the arcade games in this game at all. The karaoke stuff is off limits in my opinion because like, you want to make, I don't want to get copyright issues for showing all the songs. So, can you not enter this building? I thought you could. Oh, maybe I have to enter through this door. They changed the doorways again. Oh my gosh. Wait, 500 yet? It used to cost 300. All right. Move claw. Why would you want to move the camera? I'll have to see if I can catch the blue one. Right there. Wow, I got it on the first try. I didn't even expect that. <laughs> I'm either good or I'm terrible at it. I got berry blue. Let's go for the pink one, I guess. The big pink one. Nah, I'm too far. Oh, the song changed. Alright. I'm trying one more time and stop. And... No, I got... That was bad. 
Well, I got one. that but I found a key on the ground somehow. Sonic's on it! Because he's part of Sega. Actually I don't know if these are allowed. Cause it's like playing a game within a game. Because I remember like besides the UFO catcher uh, it would go into a cutscene blocking scenario. Well, this is probably for Haruka whenever I go back. And then we'll continue this in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video when I actually continue the story. We'll see you guys there.